What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we are back with some brand new WWE action figure coverage. Brad, we are back in it today, man, and I am really excited to get into this. As you guys know, just the other day, we did upload some problems with the upcoming action figures where I just kind of dove in and talked about everything that I kind of had an issue with or that I saw coming on the horizon. Maybe I have an issue with or maybe you guys should look out for in the coming, you know, weeks, months, and year of new WWE action figures that we're going to be getting from Mattel. And also, some of these things I did address with the team, but not in my interview specifically, because when I conducted my interview with the Mattel team, I didn't have all of my questions pre-planned out, which was my mistake, and next time I'll definitely be more prepared for the interview, but on top of that, they were short of time, so I did not get to spend a huge amount of time with them during the interview, and they were off to see SmackDown, like SmackDown on the West Coast starts at like 4.30, or really, really early, and they were out the door to go to SmackDown, and so our interview time kind of meshed with SmackDown, it was a whole ordeal, and also a lot of the figures that I talked about in the problems video, I didn't see those until the day after I did my interview with Mattel. So I was unable to ask them about Solo Sokoa. I was unable to talk about the Kurt Angle. I was unable to talk about the Shawn Michaels figure. But anyways, nonetheless, man, we are diving into the Ultimate Editions today. I do not want to do it in one solid video because this video is probably going to be long in itself and I'm slowly but surely chipping away at the ranking Elite Series 1 through 100 from worst to best. And that video is such a project, bro. You, unbelievable how much time I put into it already and I still have a lot of time to put into it so I don't want to make other news videos and coverage videos like this very very long like that one however man we're going to cover every single ultimate edition and the crowdfunder in this video and just talk about my full thoughts on every single figure and we're going to do this for the elites and we're also going to do this for the basics and change so it should be really fun man let's dive into every WWE ultimate edition that we saw at mania weekend talk about them in detail and get all my thoughts out in this video so I guess we can start things off man with the top cabinet that we saw we saw the WWE Ultimate Edition Series number 17. This is the series that is going to come next after the AJ Styles and Razor Ramon man. Getting into the Seth Rollins figure. This Seth Rollins was one of my favorite figures that I saw the entire weekend. I think that this coat right here, I even told this to Mattel. I told this to people I saw walking around the store, to my friends. I said that this figure right here I think is going to be coveted in the same way of Elite Four John Morrison. I think this coat is up there with the Elite Four coat John Morrison. I know they're doing more things like Elite 99 Rollins. You had Elite 97 Sheamus, things of that nature, but this figure right here is absolutely stunning in person. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of the head sculpts. You know, they're kind of just the same head sculpts we've seen from the past, except retooled a little bit. You know, a different hair sculpt, things of that nature, but I still love it. I think you can do some fix-ups with the head sculpts. I just think this is an absolutely beautiful figure. One of my favorite figure reveals. I'm ready to see what it looks like without the robe on there, because I think it's going to look, you know, amazing anyways, but this might be one of those figures, much like the AJ Styles, much like the Brock Lesnar Ultimate, where I have to buy one every single time I see it. It's just a beautiful piece, and I love this. This is one of my favorite reveals. I love the use of the Randy Orton hands. Absolutely beautiful. Great job here with the Ultimate Edition Seth Rollins. Another Ultimate Edition that we saw right next to it was the one that's coming paired with him in Ultimate Edition Series 17. We have the Andre the Giant with a signature hand. You have four different interchangeable head sculpts. You have the Cloth Goods. You have the Andre the Giant Championship here, and the Andre the Giant Championship is actually going to be a running change. It's going to have the blue version, and then it's going to have a running change to black. So the black strap will also be there. You have the giant hands. You have great looking, you know, wide-eyed, regular yelling. Great looking Andre the Giant head sculpts on this guy. I like this figure a lot. I would like to see what it looks like fully colored without the t-shirt on there. Similar to Seth Rollins. I want to see what the cloth goods look like off the figure as well, but this is still a great shot, and hopefully we get these in our hands very, very soon. I would like to think before the end of April we'll see these guys getting shipped out by Ringside Collectibles, but the, the, these two were absolutely beautiful. But this takes us into Ultimate Edition Series 8 18, which is going to be Macho Man here, which is a re-release of the Defining Moments figure. Just a stunning re-release here, man. I love the glitter. I like the foil of the silver. You even have like a, a shirt underneath the jacket, they said. So you're getting the hat, the glasses, the jacket, the shirt, the interchangeable heads, things of that nature. One thing that I found interesting, though, is that, you know, we saw the Mega Powers 2-pack with Macho Man Randy Savage, and he had the same tan as Hulk Hogan. I guess maybe that was just a Mega Powers ringside exclusive thing. I don't know if they're going to explore that in the future. I That's one of the questions that I forgot to ask when I got to see and interview Mattel here. But this figure looks stunning as well. Not that it really bothers me. The Hulk Hogan one bothers me a whole lot more than this one because I guess I'm just so accustomed to Macho Man coming with this style tan. But this figure looks fantastic. I think it goes perfect with our Warrior. The white and purple is just, just chef's kiss. This is a great looking figure and I'm happy to have him in Ultimate Edition Series number 18. And then we have a look at the Randy Orton figure. Now the only thing I do not like about the Randy Orton figure is going to be the head sculpts. We addressed that in the problem 
problems video. I think outside of that head sculpt where his mouth is wide open, this is just a damn good looking figure, man. I, You guys know that Randy Orton is one of my favorites of all time. Great looking head sculpts. The tattoos even look like they may have been worked on a little bit. They look even better. Bill said that he does have the tattoos going on to the torso. It does have the Rick Rude torso, he said. It's got the beautiful cloth hoodie that I've been waiting on for years. I don't know what gear they're going to do. That's another thing. You know, I just see black here and, you know, I didn't touch on what actually, you know, the gear is going to be. But this looks like it's going to be a great figure. I love the, the usage of the torso. It, it's a beautiful looking figure. I just don't like the yelling head sculpt or the angry head sculpt. I, I'm not a fan of that so far. But nonetheless, it's still it's still a really good looking figure and I'm excited for it just because I, I love Randy Orton. I'm just excited to see exactly what it looks like outside of the gear and you know what gear we go with and those things. But that head sculpt was an issue, but I, I don't know. I guess anything could change. Another Ultimate Edition that we saw, guys, was the One Night Stand RBD. This figure is beautiful. I touched on it. I don't like the head sculpt with the mouth wide open, but the smirky head sculpt and the smiling head sculpt look good. No ECW championship, no spray painted or airbrush money in the bank briefcase. It, they did kind of hint to it that it's probably coming down the line, so we'll probably get another Elite RVD, probably with the money in the bank briefcase, maybe with the ECW championship, you know, stuff like that. So that's something to definitely think about, but this is one of the, the ultimates that was on my wish list for a really long time. We covered it at nauseum on the channel. It was on my wish list. It was figures that I wanted to see, and while I did want it with the money in the bank briefcase, this still works works for me. I think it's beautiful. Can't wait to have this one in hand. And I, I I don't know, maybe they'll touch up on this head sculpt a little bit. We'll have to see. But this RVD figure is absolute bad A. Looks incredible besides that one head sculpt. And I'm happy to have a one night stand Ultimate Edition RVD. We also had a look at the Ultimate Edition Brock Lesnar that was standing next to it. And another one that's head sculpts just weren't my favorite. I just don't like these Brock Lesnar head sculpts that well. I just don't like them that much. They just look a little bit off to me. I think some of them kind of have some likeness to Brock, but the, I don't know. They just kind have like a Jax look to them. I like the removable t-shirt. The Undisputed Championship looks good. You know, it's going to be plain Jane. It does have like the spine bones or it may be in the skull. He may have said it was the skull attire. I can't remember exactly, but this is a great looking figure as well. You, you know, we have plenty of Brock head sculpts. You could just swap the heads with like the old Ultimate Brock if you don't like these heads. So that's not the biggest deal ever. I just, you know what I'm saying? I, I would like better likeness, but I'm still looking forward to this. And I love Brock Lesnar. I love his figure. So this is one that I'm absolutely going to cop. Next to him, we also had another Ruthless Aggression Ultimate. We had the Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Rey Mysterio with the headdress. He said that all of this is newly tooled. You got the new headdress and the entrance gear. This figure actually looks really, really poseable, which I'm looking forward to. You know, it's kind of plain Jane gear, but it is from his WrestleMania 22 match, so it is iconic in that way. I, You know, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I'm actually really intrigued to see how well this Ultimate Edition Rey Mysterio poses around, because you guys know that Elite Rey Mysterio is posed around with the best of them, so the Ultimate, maybe he'll do the same thing. And it's not the most exciting gear, but I still love it for the moment, and I think it's still going to be pretty Pretty awesome once we get it in hand. Then we also have a look at the Ultimate Edition Legends Eddie Guerrero with the Latino Heat shirt. This is beautiful, man. Another WWE Championship. Newly sculpted heads. You got the No Way Out gear here. And when I first saw this figure, I thought that the skin tone had been lightened up and they had fixed the skin tone. And this lighting, it looks a whole lot better than probably what it's going to look like in hand because it's going to have that darker skin tone. That's not accurate to be honest with you, but that's something else that we need to address. But figure still looks phenomenal. I think I can honestly say this is probably the best Eddie Guerrero figure ever made. Just with all the bells and whistles, it just stands out. It looks beautiful, man. I'm, I'm really looking forward to the Eddie Guerrero. We also had a look at the Ultimate Edition Bret Hart figure in the all pink, and people are actually finding this. I have not found it yet. A lot of people are finding it in the wild, so definitely check your targets. I'm still on the hunt for it. I'm trying to find two of them at least. I thought about getting a third for maybe some parts and stuff like that, but we'll see about that. But I love the pink jacket. The all pink just looks sick as hell. My favorite Bret Hart gear coming to fruition in Ultimate Edition form is just chef's kiss to me. You guys know that I love pink. I think it looks great here with the contrast with the white and black. Bret Hart has some of the best boots of all time. So this is one I'm absolutely looking forward to. Can't wait to review this one on the channel for you guys. But this Bret Hart looks fantastic. And then we had a look at the newly coming Legends Target exclusive Rock figure. Now this blew me away. I did not expect the track suit. I think this is stunning. You get the pants, you get the shirt. And also Steve said that this figure is going to come with the blue graphics. You know, the rock and silver with the blue around it. So it's going to be similar to the Top Talents Elite, but it is going to be in, in Ultimate Edition form. I'm going to leave the tracksuit on there. 
And I just think it fits really well. And it fits that era of Rock. You get the Raw's War mic. It looks like he's going to have the graphics on the elbow pads. I think the first Ultimate Edition Rock was great, but this one looks to be a little bit better. It's going to have the added articulation. This is just a beautiful figure. The track suit really stands out for me in this one. And I love that screaming expression Rock with the glasses. And he has the Just Bring It hands. This is this is a this is an underrated Ultimate right here, man. This is definitely underrated. I love this figure to death. This is one of my uh, the most underrated reveals from the weekend for sure. And outside of all these that they had on display of the ones upcoming, we also had a look at the MattelCreations.com Ultimate Edition Logan Paul and Cody Rhodes. The Logan Paul looks great. Apparently, he just re-signed his contract with WWE, which is kind of meh for me. You know, he's he's good. He's athletic in the in the ring and everything. I just, I, you know what I'm saying? I don't like the celebrities in wrestling. He has wrestled his A off. He's looked great. This figure does look good. I think it looks like Logan Paul. I love the packaging. I did get quite a few of these. I think it's a great looking action figure. I love the interchangeable gear. It is a really cool action figure, and I'm looking forward to reviewing this one and getting this one in hand, even though I'm not a big Logan Paul guy. I still can appreciate a damn good action figure, so that's kind of where I'm at here. And then we had the American Nightmare Cody Rhodes. This figure right here, I know that people were saying the gold looks a bit yellow, but I don't know. You can't really see it underneath this entrance coat. I'd like to see it in better lighting and things like that. Love the interchangeable heads. It does look like they're still giving him the tattoo on his jawline, which I'll have to acetone off, but I love the entrance gear. I like that you have, like, the little hard shell pieces over the shoulders. I think this is going to be a beautiful figure. Uh, one of my most anticipated figures of the year, and I'm glad that I pre-ordered a, a bunch of them from Mattel Creations because the, these look incredible, man. I, I love the packaging as well. The Logan Paul packaging and the Cody Rhodes packaging just look insane. So these are going to be awesome, man. I am really looking forward to the Logan Paul and the Cody Rhodes. More on the Cody Rhodes, but you know what I'm saying. I still think they both look amazing. But speaking of amazing-looking Ultimate Editions, man, we had the Amazon-exclusive Gobbledygooker and Under Undertaker 2-pack. Now, this is a deep, deep cut. This is one that nobody saw coming. One that Mattel has been trying to get out for years here. And the packaging looks great. One thing that I'm interested in is you guys see that the, the packaging, it says Survivor Series jaw-dropping debuts. I wonder if they're going to keep that going. Maybe we'll get like one or two a year of the jaw-dropping debuts. Can you imagine getting jaw-dropping debuts of other crazy characters in the future? I think that would be really amazing. But packaging looks great. Gobbledygooker looks insane. You get that giant egg. It is an Amazon exclusive. And we get the Undertaker here with updated parts and things. I, I love it. I hate that the Undertaker is so tan. They give him like this weird tan here, but this is a two-pack that looks insane on display. It looked insane. I love the giant egg. It's been selling out on Amazon a lot, so definitely get your hands on this one, but this is such a crazy Ultimate Edition. I woke up at like 3 a.m. Actually, the night before the, the Superstore, you know, access reveals like flying out to L.A. I didn't sleep that entire night because I was trying to get things ready before I left, so I'm at like the airport at like 4 a.m. and so I've been up for like 24 four hours straight. I'm at the airport eating Chick-fil-A before I get on my flight, and I pull up my phone, and boom, this is just sharing everywhere early, early a.m., and I was blown the hell away. This one's an amazing figure. I love that we're getting this. You know, you're getting some outside-the-box characters. Really wish we would have got some outside-the-box characters with the crowdfunder, which we'll get into later in the video, but this is a deep cut, and I love it. This is absolutely insane. Outside of this, we also had a look at the upcoming Coliseum Collection Series number three, and in this Coliseum Collection, we are getting Roddy Piper, just just like Kurt Angle, just like RVD, Hot Rod Rowdy Roddy Piper was one of my most anticipated, most wanted Ultimate Editions, so adding him to the collection is great. I love the interchangeable heads. I think this is the best Rowdy Roddy Piper action figure of all time. I think the kilt looks great. I know the t-shirt, they painted it all white. They don't have the red on the cuffs of the shirt or the neck collar because it's supposed to be just like his LJM figure, which I think is a cool tie-in. You know, I, say what you will about it, you know, it works because we've seen the Hot Rod shirt before, so it's not like a huge, huge deal, but this figure looks looks incredible. Uh, I'm happy to, you know, just like other figures, I'm ready to see what it looks like outside the clothes, much like George the Animal. The Coliseum packaging looks good. George the Animal still looks good. I love, you know, the, the shirt that you're getting here. The hair deco that he's got going on looks really insane as well. So you're just getting a whole lot of great stuff here, man. Like, if you take into a total account for all of the Ultimate Editions we saw over Mania Weekend, it's absolutely mind-blowing to think about. And we're still going, man. We're still going in this video. But the Coliseum Collection Series 3 was solid. Even if George the Animal still, I did not see coming in the Coliseum Collection Series 3, but you know what, Brad? I'm all for getting more characters in the Ultimate Edition line, and I, I'm looking forward to it. I think, you know, I'm having a lot of fun with the Coliseum Collection, and Rowdy Roddy Piper is probably going to be my favorite figure so far released in the Coliseum Collection, so that's good, and I'm hyped to see who Series 4 is, which is probably going to re be revealed to us at San Diego Comic-Con, and maybe I'll be there to interview Mattel again. We'll have to see, but there's the Coliseum Collection. We also had a look at a ringside exclusive figure coming very soon. It is the Monday Night War WCW Night 
Nitro Ultimate Ring and Eric Bischoff figure. Now, this is something a lot of people wanted with the crowdfunder, right? We all wanted the Eric Bischoff with the Mattel crowdfunder with the WCW Nitro stage. Everybody wanted this. You know, they were kind of clamoring for it and stuff like that, but I think this is still a great looking figure. I love that you can interchange. You know, if you use the Ruthless Aggression Elite, you could put that head sculpt on here, put the white tee on there, put the leather jacket, and then you have like a Ruthless Aggression Eric Bischoff Ultimate, and maybe that'll be, you know, reason to get two of these, you know, so you can have a, a Nitro or WCW Eric Bischoff throwback, and then you can have a Ruthless Aggression Ultimate Edition, even though we're getting the Elite, and that's gonna probably be good enough, it still would be cool to see an Ultimate Edition version, so that'll be something maybe you can play around with, but Eric Bischoff is an Ultimate I wanted, uh, you know, a throwback, a regular, been clamoring for a Ruthless Aggression Elite for a long time, we're finally getting that, so you're gonna get the ring to go with your Nitro stage, hopefully if that thing gets backed, I'm praying to God that it gets backed, which we'll dive into again at the end of the video, but I wanna cover all of our Ultimate Edition action figures first, but also, one of the prototypes that we saw on display at the Mattel Design Center, which is where we saw Eric Bischoff, is we also got to see Kurt Angle, and if you guys are unaware, Kurt Angle, the, he's one of those figures an 01 card angle this exact look not this exact attire or anything i mean i don't know what attire they're going with just yet but a kurt angle from this era in ultimate edition form was on my wish list so i got to see rvd randy orton kurt angle eric bischoff roddy piper like all these figures i had on my wish list got revealed to us and this kurt angle i'm just not as hyped for you know i i don't like the formula that we're seeing here he looks really massive i never liked his elite formula so seeing him super jacked here is also kind of putting me off a little bit. I love the cloth singlet. I think that's a great addition because you can pull the straps down and it's not that rubber thing that we saw with the ringside exclusive Undertaker. It's not going to fall apart on you. So that's really nice. I think the, the photography and the posability is going to be awesome. I hate that they didn't give him a yelling expression. Like we have this crying expression, which is cool and outside the box. But I think a, you know, a passionate yelling angle head would have been beautiful. I'm sure he has some elites coming. I'm sure that another Ultimate Edition Kurt is probably going to come down the line. Line, so we'll probably see a bald Kurt Angle Ultimate with yelling expression, but I really would have liked to have seen an Ultimate Edition screaming Kurt Angle, but I'm still hyped for the figure in the sense that I'm ready to see what it looks like in final form. Uh, maybe it could be something that we customize and fix up. I think they still made him too jacked, but I'm still looking forward to it. Kurt Angle, one of my favorites of all time. I'm still hyped for it just to see what that looks like. I'm not ultimately disappointed in it yet because we don't know exactly what it's going to look like. What, you know, exactly the attire, exactly the accessories, etc, etc. I still think it's going to be a beautiful figure and it probably may be one of those figures I try to get men on card autographed or something like that, man. I love Kurt Angle. He's one of my goats, one of my favorites of all time. So this is definitely going to be one that I, I get a lot of if I, you know, am I'm so in love with it. Similar like the Ultimate Edition John Cena, the second version. I have a lot of those because I love that figure. I love everything that that kind of represents in there. So maybe that'll be the same for the Kurt Angle figure. Outside of the Kurt Angle, we also saw ringside exclusive Ultimate Edition Usos, man. And these figures are two of the figures that I'm most looking forward to. I think that Jay and Jimmy both look sick as hell. I like that we got the double jointed arms with no sleeves for Jimmy. Jay looks damn good. I love that they're going with the Ultimate Edition John Cena shoes in red with the black joggers. You're getting a ton of accessories with this guys you get the we the one shirt the interchangeable heads the change both sets of tag titles i mean dude these figures look absolutely incredible definitely two figures that i am most looking forward to this year i think they look insane these are going to be guys that i get a lot of use out of get to get to pose them around these just look insane these were two figures that i popped hella hard for seeing them in person and they just stand out, man. They look really damn good. So I'm really excited for the Uso figures. Just so sick. So, so sick. I think they look fantastic. So the Usos are looking very damn good. We also got to look at some grayed out ultimates. So I'm guessing that these ultimates are probably coming after Randy Orton and Macho Man. If I had to guess, probably Ultimate Edition Series 19 would be Bobby Lashley and Bianca Belair. And the Bobby Lashley, you know, I think the tooling on the crotch is sick. You got the belt with the cross sculpt there. I think you're going to get a ton of reuse out of that. Yeah, Bobby Lashley here with the screaming experience. Expression. Another thing that looks really good. It looks like he's got, you know, his boots on there. We got to see the render image. The Bianca Belair also looks damn good with her fur coat. And both of their render images also looked really, really good. So you get the Her Business shirt. You get a U.S. title with the Bobby Lashley side plates. He's got the miscolored tights. I think that Bobby Lashley is going to be pretty damn underrated, bro. I, I like it. I like what we got going on with Bobby Lashley and the McDonald's gears, what I'm going to call it. And then again, Bianca Belair with her Flames gear. She's got the, like, colored lip 
lipstick. Really nice fur jacket. Maybe you can put that fur jacket on some other characters. I think these fit nicely into the ultimate line. I don't know if Bobby Lashley, since we have so many good elites of him, do we need an ultimate of him? I don't know, you know, but you know what? I'll take it. I think it's still going to be a damn good figure. I hope it looks really good on the shelf. And the screaming expression just really stands out to me. And then outside of these ultimate editions, we also had a look, or not a look, but we it was announced on the live stream that the Monday Night War ultimate editions that are going to be Walmart exclusive were getting Bret Hart and Rowdy Roddy Piper. So these should be really sick. We're going to get a different look at them. Again, you know, we just know that they're announced. We don't know exactly what the head sculpts are going to look like. We don't know a lot of those things, but I just hope that they nail these guys. Similar to, if they look anything like their Coliseum Collection Series 3 Roddy Piper or the, the Bret Hart we just got in all pink, I think they're going to be damn good releases. Would they have been my first two choices for ultimate editions in that line? Probably not, but you know what? I'll, you know, I, until Sting comes back, I'll take anybody, I guess. I'm just waiting on Crow Sting. I need him to leave AEW so I can get a damn Sting ultimate. That's what I'm really waiting on. But those figures should be cool when we finally see them. And last but not least, we're going to talk about the crowdfunding project. Now, obviously, Hulk Hogan is no longer on the table, right? We already know this. We talked about it. Hulk Hogan is off the table now, but I still have hope that we're going to hit. It does look like if this thing does come to fruition, Rey Mysterio is going to be the only figure that comes with the stage. But I was there in person, man. The stage is so massive. It's bigger than my coffee table. It is absolutely huge. I think that it's probably worth or close to it worth the 400 But I think Mattel's probably going to have to reach in their bag and pull out something. And I don't know what that looks like. I don't know what they can do at this point, but I think they are going to do something. And I don't, I don't know what it is, or maybe they won't do something, but... I think that Mattel's probably going to have to give us something here to go along with Rey Mysterio to finally push this thing to the 5,000 backers that we need. And I don't know what that looks like. Maybe it's a repaint of a previous Ultimate or something that they can fit in there that's WCW themed. I don't think that it probably needs to be as plain as like a Goldberg though because, you know, we already have a WCW Goldberg Ultimate. I don't think that that's really in the cards. I don't think that that would push us over the limits at all. I think it probably need to be... Something, something like probably an NWO Hogan or or something of that nature. Maybe you could repaint the Razor Ramon Ultimate into a Scott Hall. Maybe you can repaint the Diesel figure into a Kevin Nash. You know, I'm just throwing stuff at the wall, but maybe they can pull a, a rabbit out of a hat here at the buzzer. I know we have like sh like a little bit under four weeks to make it happen, but. I truly believe in it. I think we're going to get it. And I just want you guys to realize, I know you, unless you've seen it in person, you cannot really grasp how big it is and how like incredible this piece is. So I'm hoping that it comes to fruition simply because I want to review it. I want to have it in hand. I want to take the photography. I want to use it in videos and different things. I want to review it, all these different things. But I want it also so you guys, so that everybody in the back seat can have an opportunity to see this thing in its full capacity because it's absolutely gigantic and I think that it's it's going to be a, a beautiful piece once we back and I think that it, it just hits all the all the bells and whistles it's a beautiful piece the lights are magnificent I love the ramp we've never seen anything quite like this so I think it's going to blow people's minds out of their butt. But with all that being said, man, that was every single Ultimate Edition. At least I think so. I think I covered every single Ultimate Edition we saw over Mania Weekend. Again, we're, we're almost at 30 minutes in this video or 25 minutes in this video. And we still have so many figures to cover in Elites and Basics and others. So we will definitely do that. I guess this week sometime we'll get on here and talk about all the figure reveals in, you know, in depth and all of them. And I may even do one video where I like clip all three videos together and we'll cover everything in one solid video if anybody just wants to sit back relax and watch all of it together but that is going to wrap up this video man thank you guys so very much for watching i'd love to know all your thoughts on these ultimates where do you think we go what are you thinking on your thoughts and all the different stuff man but a huge shout out to our patrons for backing the mdt youtube channel thank you guys so very much for your support over there if you guys are interested in becoming patron backers lots of benefits and perks and things over there you can get in on we're giving away an elite 100 ray mysterio this month as well as another figure i believe that is yet to be named so definitely go get on that if that's something you're interested in but that is going to wrap up my ultimate edition and crowdfunding thoughts for everything we saw at mania weekend man stay tuned for the elites video we also have supreme collection series 3 penta and ray phoenix to review and lots of other stuff coming to the channel man but thank you guys so very much for watching let me know your thoughts down below i'm getting the hell out of here subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys next time have a blessed one and you guys know how it is for the second time i'll see you next time